Steam is your window to the world of gaming, so if Steam stops opening or responding, you'll need to know what to do. Here we show you how to fix an unresponsive Steam app, from the infamous SteamUI.dll error to checking for Steam server errors. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is Steam Not Opening, here are the fixes. Steam is most PC gamers window onto the gaming world. Microsoft may own Windows, but Valve owns gaming on Windows thanks to the all powerful and super convenient platform. But even the best pieces of software can have their bad days, and Steam, being the complex beast that it is, could fail to open for you for any number of reasons. Here we're going to go through the most common causes for Steam not opening on your PC and our solutions for fixing them. Delete the beta client file. If you're running a beta build of Steam, or indeed if you've run a beta build of Steam at any point in recent memory, then you might always run the slight risk of Steam not working. Beta builds are, after all, less stable than the full stable builds, which is the price you pay for getting to play around with the latest features. So if you're in this situation and Steam isn't starting, you need to disable the beta client without actually going into Steam. To do this, go to the package folder in your Steam directory and delete the file called beta. Failed to load steamui.dll. One of the more common problems on Steam is the dreaded steamui.dll error, where Steam fails to find the DLL file it needs to open. There are a few possible solutions to this. In a reversal of our previous tip, you can trick Steam into thinking the current version of Steam you're running is a beta. To do this, go to your Steam installation folder and find steam.exe. Right click it, then click Create Shortcut. Right click the shortcut, click properties and then in the target box add minus client beta client underscore candidate to the end of the target directory. So in this case the whole box will read c slash steam slash steam.exe client beta space client underscore candidate. Use this shortcut from now on to run steam and you should be fine. Clear the app cache. The app cache folder in your Steam directory stores various data about your Steam apps and setup. Essentially, it remembers small details each time you open Steam, ensuring that the next time you run Steam, things will work that little bit faster. Things can go wrong with the cache, however. It can misremember things, which may be a cause for Steam not opening. To fix this, try deleting the app cache folder. Don't worry, this will be recreated next time you open Steam. First, go to your Steam directory, C program files, x86 slash Steam by default, then copy and paste the app cache folder to a safe location, just in case. Once you've done that, you can delete the app cache folder in your Steam directory, then try starting Steam again. If it works well, you can then go and delete the original backed up app cache folder as a healthy new one will have been created in its place. Check whether the Steam server is down. When stuff goes wrong, the instinct can be to tear your hair out, curse your luck, and begin looking for tough, techie solutions to what you believe must be a terrible, potentially fatal problem with your PC. Yeah, don't do that. The very first thing you should do is check whether the Steam servers are actually down, which can happen when there's maintenance or some kind of problem that causes an outage. The best site to do this, wherever you are in the world, is steamstat.us which gives detailed info on server loads, which servers are up, and so on. Go to this site and see if your regional server is having issues. If it is, you may just have to wait it out. If not, let's continue to the next tip. Nothing happens when I try to open Steam. Steam is split up into a few separate processes on your PC, which helps it run nice and smoothly. Sometimes when you try to run Steam, it may cause a minor error whereby the process starts on your PC, but Steam doesn't actually appear on your desktop or notification area. You try opening it again, but literally nothing happens. This could be because the Steam process has started, but the part that deals with showing the Steam UI hasn't. If this happens to you, hit Control shift escape in the Task Manager, click More Details at the bottom left if that's not already been selected, then scroll down to the processes until you reach Steam, Steam Bootstrapper, Client Service, Web Helper and so on. Right click all the Steam processes you see here and click End Task. Once no more Steam processes are open, try opening Steam again and it should work. Do the quick reinstall trick. 
If all of that fails and your Steam still isn't opening, there is a quick way to reinstall it while keeping all your preferences and games intact. In your Steam installation folder, delete everything apart from Steam.exe, Steam Apps and User Data. Next, double click Steam.exe and let it reinstall. If you want your new Steam folder to be installed elsewhere on your PC, you can move Steam EXE, Steam Apps and News Data to another location before you do this. Let Steam do its thing and reinstall and you should be up and running again with all your precious games and Steam settings still there. Ok, as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please take a moment to like, subscribe and comment below. That's all for now, see you next time.